Hi, I'm Joel Garner, the owner and operator of Joel's Carnivorous Plants, and this video is to show you how to care for your plant. So after you have your plant set up, you have it in this dish with water, and over time you will see that the water level in this dish will begin to get lower. When it gets pretty low, something about like like this, maybe even just a little bit lower. It should never be allowed to totally dry out. When it gets this low, you want to re-add water to it. And just pour more of your distilled water that you purchased and fill it back up to about about one-fourth the height of the of the pot. And this will happen about anywhere from about one to maybe five days. It depends on the temperature. If it's very, very warm, perhaps during a heat wave, it might even happen one, once in a, in a day. But normally it'll take two or three days to do this. So that's the main thing you're going to do to care for your plant. It's actually just as simple as that. You just watch the water level and wait for it to go down. Uh, in another video I'll show you how to feed the plant because that's actually not 100% necessary to keep it alive. Um, some other things that you need to know is that over time this plant will shed some of its leaves. It'll slowly shed. And you can actually just get a uh, little pair of scissors or clippers and anything that's 100% blackened and dried you can just cut it. Anything that's not totally dried you do not want to cut because the plant is actually reusing all the nutrients and the carbohydrates in the part of the plant that's shedding it's actually being moved to the growth point so you don't want to cut off anything that's kind of yellowish or half black and half green still you want to just leave that completely where it is uh, some other things that you need to know is that this plant is going to go dormant every winter so every usually it's November usually late November or early December you're going to see your plant, it's all of a sudden going to shed a lot of its leaves. Most of them will shed, in fact. And that's a normal phenomenon. That does not mean your plant is dying. It doesn't mean throw it away. If you want to know if your plant is still alive, you look for the growth point. If the growth point is still green and there's something there, even if it's small little traps, growth points where the new ones are coming out. You see a new one coming out there. And then this one is even newer with a trap folding out. For this one, there's a new one there. It's got his growth point right in there. So if you still see that that's green, or I guess if it's a red plant, it might actually be red. Even though most of it's shedding and it's late fall, early December, that's totally 100% normal. That's expected to happen. Same thing you can do during any other time of the year. You just take your scissors and cut off any dead part so it doesn't get mold or anything like that or fungus. And for most people, you don't care for your plant any different when it's dormant. It'll go dormant right in your windowsill. It's paying attention to the temperatures cooling and the photo period shortening, and that's its trigger to go dormant, even if it's relatively warm in your house most days in the 60s or perhaps low 70s. It can still actually go dormant even in that. You do not need to take it and put it in the refrigerator. That's overkill. It's a myth that you need to do that. Um, if you're living in a in a strictly tropical country, you would do that. For everyone else, you do not need to put it in the refrigerator. Um, and for the winter time, you'll notice the water level will go down slower. The only thing that you could do differently is just keep the water level just slightly lower during the three winter months of December, January, and February. And um, don't keep it high all the time. Let it go down in between waterings just like you would any other time of the year. And what you should see happen is you should see in spring it should come out. You should start making a bunch of larger leaves and traps again in the springtime. That's totally normal.